I'd like to start with something that you'd probably rather forget, um, but the fact that you've been exposed as someone who wore blackface on what we know of three occasions, most recently in 2001 when you were 29 years old and a teacher. It is the biggest hit your campaign has taken so far. It's all down to you. It was you doing that, putting mm -hmm. that makeup on. What has that done to your campaign and what does it say about your judgment? I think uh, it's something that I've recognized was a terrible mistake. I should have known better at the time, uh, but I didn't. And I'm, uh, I, I'm going to have to work uh, uh, a long time to continue to demonstrate the kind of focus I've had on fighting racism, fighting discrimination, fighting intolerance as I've worked on as a politician. You know, your critics say it makes you a hypocrite, that you set high standards for other people, but you don't live up to them yourself. Well, I certainly set high standards for myself as well, and I hurt a lot of people I care about deeply. It was a terrible mistake, and I take full responsibility for it. Uh, I apply those high standards to myself. I will always fight against racism, intolerance, and discrimination, and I hurt a lot of people who, who considered me an ally. You know, people have been fired for the doing this, certainly lost their reputations for it. You've asked for forgiveness, but why should Canadians give you a pass? Because you're leader of a party? I am someone who has demonstrated throughout my political career and indeed as Prime Minister that fighting anti-black racism, fighting systemic discrimination, fighting unconscious bias and putting real money and real initiatives and working hard to fight uh, all this intolerance uh, is something that I'm, I've am i done and I'm going to continue to do and I'm going to continue to do even more uh, given that uh, I have uh, obviously not lived up to that in the past. When did you stop thinking that darkening your skin was acceptable? Was it something, did someone tell you, hey, you know, this is crazy, you're, you're covering not only your face, your throat, your hands, I think in the video even your legs? Did someone say to you, Justin, you got to give this up? As, as I've spoken about, I uh, represent one of the most diverse multicultural ridings in the country. And the work I've done uh, in you know, the late uh, 20, well, 2008, 2009, to be a better representative, a good representative for people by spending time in mosques and gurdwaras and with the Haitian community and all the diverse communities in my writing and fighting for them led me to understand to a much greater degree the kind of discrimination and uh, intolerance that people face on a daily basis because of the color of their skin and that's uh, where, why I understand now, which I should have understood then, that it is always unacceptable. So it was when you got into politics? I think uh, the years uh, following my father's death involved a lot of changes for me. I went back to Montreal in 2002. Uh, I uh, went back to school, studied engineering, studied environmental geography. I got involved more with Katimovic, Canada's National Youth Service Program. I did more environmental and youth activism. I was uh, learning a lot more about public engagement, a lot more about uh, service. And uh, obviously, I am a very different person today than I was back then. Um, have you talked to your mother about this? Um, yes, I've talked to my mother, I've talked to my kids, I've talked to what did your uh, mom friends. Say? My, mom, uh, my mom is someone who uh, has lived through very difficult times uh, in the public eye, some of it possibly deserved, uh, some of it not. Um, she reminded me to stay focused on uh, both the people I've hurt and how I'm going to do better in the future. Was she disappointed in you? I think everyone, a lot of people who know me uh, were disappointed in me. You disappointed in yourself? Sure, of course. I, I hurt people who I care about deeply and who trusted me uh, and that is something that I, uh, I need to understand but also something that I'm going to need to work for the rest of uh, my life to do better.